Nobody deserves to be hurt, beat on, and nothing like that. That's not cute, that's not cool. I kept asking more questions to my customer about this guy. Does this guy have a good relationship with his mother? A client was like, he has a phenomenal relationship with his mother. I was like, okay, that's a good thing. She was like, no, 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 no. It's a good thing, Tony, but it's kinda not, she said, because he's too much of a mama's boy. She said, every time that we go do something, he has to have his mama involved. She said, other day, Tony, he asked his mama to call me and to tell me that he loves me. I said, what? Ho, 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 ho. Your boyfriend had his mama call you to relay a message about how much he loves you? Why he didn't call you and tell you that? Why he had to have his mother, aka his secretary, to call his girlfriend to tell you how much that he loves you? My customer was like, well, Tony, that's just how my boyfriend shows his love. So as the more she kept talking about this guy, I noticed my customer kept making excuses for his actions. She kept taking up for the guy because she said that he's a good guy and that he's just misunderstood. Somebody who's misunderstood wouldn't hit you in the eye. If this person loved you, they wouldn't do that to you. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Mindset Master Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Reed, and I'm also the proprietor of the podcast. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing the topic that's very near and dear to most people's heart. And that topic is going to be never lose yourself whenever you get involved in a relationship. The reason why I decided to talk about this particular topic today is because last night about nine o'clock, one of my clients who I've been servicing for the last two to about three years, I help her with different mindset things and different relationship issues that she may be going through in life. So I know this lady on a professional level really, really well. When she called me last night, normally she's a really calm, cool, collective type of woman. But when she called, she was real frantic. She was, Tony, I need you. I need you. Please talk to me. She was telling me how about a month ago, she got involved with this new guy. He owns his own business. He's a really good looking guy. I was like, hey, that's amazing. Congratulations. She said, Tony, well, the problem is I feel like I've lost myself. I was like, what? You lost yourself because of him? She was like, yeah, Tony, I know that is so bizarre, right? I was like, yeah, that is bizarre, but tell me a little bit more about what's going on. Well, my client said about two weeks ago, my boyfriend had planned this exotic vacation for me and him to go out of the country. That's when I found out he uses drugs. When somebody tells me that somebody uses drugs, drugs, I don't condemn anybody, I don't judge anybody or nothing like that because we're all human and we all have vices. When she said that, it was real concerning to me for one reason because she has a baby. Now, when I'm talking about drugs, I'm not just talking about weed. I'm talking about weed in conjunction with cocaine. I'm thinking you're a well-to-do, credible type of businesswoman. I'm thinking in my head like, why would you get involved with somebody like this? Like, why would you lower your standards for this guy. When I asked my client that, my client said, Tony, what makes this guy here so different from anybody else? He allows me to be myself. So what happened with this out of the country exotic vacation? Like what exactly happened with that? She said the German shepherds got to smelling my boyfriend's suitcase and wind up finding we planted in his suitcase. I was like, oh my God, you got a criminal record now because of this guy? And she said, I am 38 years old. I went this long in my life without ever getting in trouble. She said, Tony, I never even had a feeding ticket. I never been in no trouble until now. If you know that he uses drugs, did you ask him? Did he have any drug or any kind of contraband or anything on him when you left the States? Did you ask him that? She said, yes, I did. And he said, no, honey, I don't have any drugs and nothing like that on me. Why would I take drugs out the country? My customer said that she believed this guy with all of her heart. Up until that point, he had never lied to her. So now, on her public record, she has a drug trafficking charge. My suggestion would be kind of ease off from this guy. He's not bringing no value to your life. He's taking value away from you. 
And the more she kept talking to me and she was saying that they had got into a domestic altercation and you let this guy slap you? She was like, yeah. I was like, did you call your brothers, call the authorities? Or did you do anything about this guy putting his hands on you? She was like, no, Tony, I didn't. He said he would never do it again. Whenever somebody does something one time and then they have the audacity to say that they're not going to do it again, 10 times out of 10, they going to always do it again because it's going to be some kind of reason why they done it. It's going to be some kind of reason. Oh, babe, you provoked me to do this. See, my customer has never had a male figure in her life to actually tell her stuff like what I'm telling her. I'm not saying my customer does not have any male figures in her life. I am not saying that. But what I'm saying is a lot of times people may not have figures in their life that they can actually talk to and take some real sane sound advice from. So that's why I am so happy that my client was able to call me and I was able to help my client because nobody deserves to go through any kind of domestic altercation. I kept asking more questions to my customer about this guy. Does this guy have a good relationship with his mother? A client was like, he has a phenomenal relationship with his mother. I was like, okay, that's a good thing. She was like, no, 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 no. It's a good thing, Tony, but it's kind of not, she said, because he's too much of a mama's boy. She said, every time that we go do something, he has to have his mama involved. She said, other day, Tony, he asked his mama to call me and to tell me that he loves me. I said, what? Ho, 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 ho. Your boyfriend had his mama call you to relay a message about how much he loves you? Why he didn't call you and tell you that? Why he had to have his mother, AKA his secretary, to call his girlfriend to tell you how much that he loves you? My customer was like, well, Tony, that's just how my boyfriend shows his love. So as the more she kept talking about this guy, I noticed my customer kept making excuses for his actions. She kept taking up for the guy because she said that he's a good guy and that he's just misunderstood. Somebody who's misunderstood wouldn't hit you in the eye, swell your eye up for two weeks. If this person loved you, they wouldn't do that to you. I said, look, in my professional opinion, I think, again, you need to ease away from this man before this man winds up hurting you or either before you wind up hurting him. She was like, Tony, I don't know, man. Like, I just love this guy so much. I said, look, this may sound kind of crazy. And I know we all do crazy things for love because I've done crazy things for love. I said, but it's no human on earth whose body part is that big, that thick, or that deep that should make you lose yourself and get in trouble when you've never done anything wrong in life. Not even a speeding ticket. You should never ever let anybody mistreat you because you are a human being. You deserve to be treated with kindness, respect, generosity, all of these amazing things. You are a human. Never forget that. And that's what I told my customer. I told my customer how good of a mother she is. I told my customer how great of a businesswoman she is. That's what my customer needed to hear. She needed to hear positive affirmations from a male figure in her life. She's my client and she's also my friend. We'll resume the regularly scheduled program momentarily. Now, once you're on the inside of the Mindset Mastery Academy, the first thing that you will notice is going to be the layout. On the left, this is going to be all of the things that are going to be included inside of the Mindset Mastery Academy. We have videos for a positive mindset. We have motivational quotes. We have mindset and mental health. We have affirmation cards. We have digital planners. We have blogs. We have coupons and monthly deals. And we also have ebooks and audio books. And then you can easily download any of these right here. We have the success roadmap digital planner. And this is a 170 page digital planner. You can print this out and actually do it on old school pencil and paper. And if you have any issues, you can always reach out to me and my team directly at info at tonyreed.co and another thing that we have monthly hot seats once you're inside the mindset mastery academy all of your personal problems become the group's problems if you're going through a struggle in life if you have a burden in life that you're going through and you can ask any kind of questions anything that you want to know the group is here to help and i just wanted to quickly talk to you about this amazing opportunity to join the mindset mastery academy now back to your regular schedule program 
I told my customer, I said, look, whenever somebody knows that they have made you lose yourself, they'll always take advantage of you. My customer said, what are you talking about? Can you give me an example of what you're talking about? And what I wind up telling my customer was, was an example of something that happened to me 20 years ago. My whole life, I've always been thin. Like I never made it past like a size like 31 waist in my pants. But one time in my life, when I was in my early 20s, I did gain a whole lot of excessive weight. And that's because a young lady at that time who I was dating, she had a lot of excessive weight. So I wind up, losing myself trying to blend in with my girlfriend at that time. I wind up getting to 240 pounds. 240 pounds, that didn't necessarily look too bad on me. That's only because I'm over six foot tall. But the particular lady who I was dating, she would always tell me, don't nobody want you but me. And when the lady said that to me, I was like, man, you know what? She's right. Don't nobody want me. As the more she kept telling me that, I kept telling her, that she was right. I kept saying, you know what? You're right. Don't nobody want me but you. And when I had became submissive to my ex-girlfriend and allow her to know that what she was saying was registering in my brain that I was giving up my worth because she had given up her worth. So once I blended in with her, gave up my worth, she was perfectly okay with that. And she knew I had given up my worth. She knew that. That was my fault for losing myself in a relationship. That was my fault. It wasn't up until I looked at myself in the mirror and realize, man, what have I become? What have I allowed another person to make me be? What have I done? Who is this man in the mirror here? I don't recognize this man. So I quickly lost 85 pounds. And when I told my customer that example, that resonated with her. And the reason that it resonated with her, because that's what the guy was doing to her. He had told her how ugly she was, how sloppy her body had gotten. So you should never lose yourself in a relationship. I don't care who you're dating. You should never, ever, ever lose yourself. Because the moment you lose yourself and you let that person know who you're dating that you lost, yourself they will always dangle that over your head like a Christmas tree ornament whenever somebody is trying to make you lose yourself ten times out of ten they've lost themselves in some shape form or fashion because if a person actually had themselves together they would never try to make you lose yourself because somebody who got they stuff together they don't have time to try to sabotage you they don't have time for that you're ready to take your journey of mastery to the next level and dive even deeper into mindfulness and also meditation, well, I've got a fantastic resource just for you. Inside, you're going to find step-by-step -step instructions, valuable insight, and also practical exercises to help you enhance your mindset and bring more positive changes to your life. This guide is the roadmap to success. To get your hands on this exclusive resource, click the link below in the description. I don't care what he has in his pants. It's not worth you getting a criminal record. It's not worth you letting him beat on you. It's not worth him being mean to your daughter. It's not worth that. I don't care if he pulls out a foot long watermelon. That still does not justify you to allow him to disrespect and treat you like the way that he does. Most people are too scared to leave out of a situation when they know that they've lost themselves because that person has implanted poison into to your brain telling you, man, you got four kids. Ain't nobody else gonna want you but me. See, that's the person who is poisonous. You don't need that person in your life. The moment somebody ever tells you something like that, you need to get that person out of your life immediately because that person is not any good because a good person would never allow themselves to down anyone or try to put anyone else down because they lost themselves. That's just a tacky person right there. And see, that's what I was telling my customer. And see, once I broke all of this stuff down to the lowest common denominator for my customer, she was so happy and so relieved. She was like, Tony, thank God for sending you my way. And when she said that, like that just made me feel so good 
because she thanked God for sending me her way. That was like one of the best affirmations that I've ever had bestowed upon me in my life because somebody thanked God for me coming their way in their life. That made me so happy. That made me feel so, so good. If you like this episode today thus far, please press that like and subscribe button for me. In conclusion, I recommend if you are in a relationship and you have this hobby that you like to do, keep doing that same hobby. So for example, if you like working on old school like 70 and 80 model cars, if that's what you like to do and you were doing that before you got involved in this relationship, relationship after you are in this relationship you ought to still be doing that exact same thing see you should never let the person who you're with change what you do like I've been married to my wife for over 10 years when she met me I was riding motorcycles and just because I married her that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop riding motorcycles no I'm gonna go home now and get on my motorcycle see most people in a relationship they'll try to change up just to try to make the other person happy see I never changed up to to try to make my wife happy. I never been like, oh yeah, babe, well, I don't want to ride motorcycles just because she doesn't like motorcycles. See, I'm not going to let myself go or let myself change just because I'm a married man. No. See, that's where most people go wrong at and that's where most people start cheating and divorced and stuff like that because they feel like they have to change who they are just to be with this particular individual. If somebody who you're with in life, if they're trying to hold you back, push they ass out your life. Never blend in with the person who you're dating. If they not happy with how your body look, you need to move on past them. Try your best to make 2024 and beyond your year. And that about wraps it up for today's episode. Until next time, I'll catch you later.